call up Gary. You can pay me now or pay me later. I love that commercial back from the seventies, probably it was. I remember, yeah, I remember that commercial was, you know, it's probably on some greatest hit somewhere. But I really, really like that, and I really love the way you tied that in with your speech. Your speech on energy sources, such an important topic. I mean, really, and in a speech like that, you can really get things across to people, and you can really change people's views on things. And so I think that's a, that's a great kind of a topic to approach and a great kind of topic to cover. Some of the, the, just the speech number two, the main purpose is to work on our speech structure. It's really the first speech where we're trying to structure. And so in the structure of your speech, Dan, I thought it was very good. It really, it had a clear intro, body, and conclusion. The, uh, the body had a great number of facts, and that was the second point, is that the, the complexity of those facts. I mean, you know, it was just stuff that, you know, I didn't know anything about, and could be very difficult to describe. And so I thought you did a really great job in describing them. I also thought you clearly had a great knowledge of the subject. You had obviously done quite a bit of research on it, and the, your engagement I've really seen a lot of improvement. I think I've, I've seen, I think we've all seen a lot of improvement in Dan in the time that he's been speaking. Yes. And it's been very encouraging actually to see that. And so I could see that your engagement with the audience was much higher, that you were, you know, you were out of your shell and you were working with the audience. Because it's really, it's not you talking to them, it's a conversation. And so I thought that was very effective as well. As an audience member, there are, there are though a few things that I thought that maybe could have helped. One of the things, and this is a very common thing, when we have a, a, a speech that's full of a lot of difficult subject matter, we tend to just exp exposit on the subject matter. But one of the things that can be so powerful, especially in a speech where you're trying to help people to understand and to change somebody's view, is to use more in the way of story. Story, it's, I mean, it is a fairly advanced topic, but it's not something, it's something that you can start thinking of now. Story and dialogue. Imagine if some of the, in between some of those facts, imagine how much power, more powerful it could have been if some personal stories of people that had been impacted, either positively or negatively, had been given. I think that would have been a great benefit to me as an audience member. Another point along those lines is to speak to the audience, that it's not a speech, it's really a conversation. And so, for example, one particular place I noticed um, would have been a great opportunity. Have you ever said, well, last month is so warm, there must not be global warming? That would be a great opportunity. So, in conclusion, I would say, keep up the strong work. Keep up the work on, on the structure and the work on explaining Work on some of the engagement with the audience, and you'll really be able to help people to understand. They should pay you now.